Having lots of moolah to shop, buy, and obtain what you want without having to worry about the cost is one of the many things that you can wish for. It is everyone's desire to one day become a multi-billionaire, but along with this outstanding dream, people hardly understand how to make their ideas come to life. Welcome back to the Grand Luxury. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell to get notified every time we upload a new video. Hmm, do you have what it takes to make the dream come true? Well, share your thoughts in the comments below and watch till the end to find out about how these billionaires amass staggering amounts of wealth. Let's talk about the 10 youngest members of the world's billionaires list and how they acquired their fortune. We are starting with the youngest. Number 1. Kevin David Lamont Legacy Kevin David Lamont, a German successor of the Lamont family fortune, is the world's youngest billionaire at this time and is only 18 years old. According to Forbes' 35th annual billionaires list, the teenager is worth an astounding $3.3 billion after receiving shares in the German drugstore company Drogerie Markt from his father, Gunther Lamont. DM Drogerie Markt, the primary source of Lamont's riches, is the largest pharmacy chain in Germany. It first opened its doors in 1974, and based on the details from the company's site, it employs approximately 41,000 people in more than 2,000 locations across Germany. It is estimated that the drugstore business generates more than $12 billion in annual sales. Even though his father surrendered his 50% ownership to Lamont since he was 14 years old, the company continued to maintain trust until Lamont turned 18 in September of last year. The Forbes magazine reports that neither Lamont nor his father is directly engaged in the company and that nothing is known about both of them. Number 2. Wang Zilong Legacy Wang Zilong, a 24-year-old Chinese businessman and the second youngest billionaire globally, inherited a share in CNNC Hua Yuan Titanium Dioxide Co. This chemical company participates on the Shenzhen Stock Exchange. The holding is worth more than 1.3 billion US dollars. The company manufactures titanium dioxide pigment, a white pigment that can be utilized in various applications such as coatings, plastics, ink, and other materials. According to Forbes, aside from TIS, he also holds investments in the Le Mans Billions Group. Generally speaking, Zilong is worth $1.5 billion. Number 3 and 4. Alexandra Anderson and Katharina Anderson Legacy Owing to their father's Oslo-based investment company Ferd, Alexandria and Katharina Anderson each have a net worth of $1.4 billion US dollars. Their company has private equity assets as well as a real estate holding and competes in the Nordic Stock Exchange. Johan Andresen, the father of Katharina and Alexandra, transferred his company's assets to his two daughters in 2007. The company has grown to the point that Katharina and Alexandra both possess 42.2% of the stock. Their father continues to control a piece of the company and serves as its chairman. He previously served as the company's chief executive officer for 14 years until he stepped down from the position in October 2012. Despite the fact that the Anderson sisters hold a large piece of Ferd, they still pursue their life interests. Alexandra is competing in horseback riding, and Katharina is working as an intern at Ernest & Young, a global accounting and consulting business. Number 5. Austin Russell – Self-Made Austin Russell, 26 years old, has been named the world's youngest self-made billionaire on Forbes' annual list of world billionaires. When he was 25, his net worth was already $2.4 billion, and he owned 104.7 million Luminar shares, or roughly one-third of the company's outstanding stock. Following the acceptance of a $100,000 scholarship from billionaire investor Peter Thiel in 2012, he started his firm Luminar Technologies. The decision to drop out was taken while he was a student at Stanford University. Then, he later took the choice to establish his own company. His company mainly produces sensors for automated driving vehicles. A variety of sensors developed by Luminar Technologies can be found in cars produced by well-known automobile manufacturers such as Volvo and Toyota. What it takes to get wealthy is probably something you are pondering on. Approximately one-third of the individuals on the Forbes list inherited their wealth. According to the Peterson Institute for International Economics' analysis of Forbes' 2014 list of billionaires, inherited wealth is exceptionally significant in Europe. It contributed to the fortunes of approximately half of those who are billionaires. Individuals who have an advantage in race tend to hold on to their advantage for various reasons. As a starting point, the worth of investments such as stocks and bonds has increased faster in recent years with the value of other types of assets. While others are lucky enough to acquire money from prestigious families, some are self-made and have extraordinary deeds on climbing up to the top. In striving to achieve their goals, self-made billionaires turn their ideas and visions into practice, whether it is founding a business or pursuing other professional and personal goals. 
This determination is a frequent motivator among many billionaires who do not come into their wealth through inheritance. Billionaires can be found in various industries. According to Forbes 2021 Globe's Billionaires list, there are record-breaking 2,775 billionaires in the world, a new world record. Some industries indeed provide a more common path to financial success than others. The most likely route to a multi-billion dollar wealth is through banking and investment management. There has been a 50% increase in the number of billionaires in banking and investment during the past year, and the number has nearly doubled from two years ago. According to the Forbes Billionaires Report, manufacturing came in third place this year with 331 billionaires, including 155 from China. The Asian nation is home to an ever-increasing number of billionaires from all over the world. Despite the restrictions, fashion and retail came in fourth place, accounting for 273 billionaires, or 10% of the total billionaires on this year's list. Before revealing the second half of this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button and share Grand Luxury to your friends. Number 6. Gustav Magnar Witzo Legacy Gustav Magnar Witzo is the successor to Salmar ASA, which is one of the world's leading suppliers of salmon and was established by his father, Gustav Witzo, in 1991. His father granted him 47% ownership in Salmar when he was 19 years old to avoid a huge inheritance tax. In addition, the senior Witzo continues to oversee the firm's everyday operations, which has a large farm production in both the north and central regions of the country. When Gustav's fortune was passed down to him, he became one of the world's youngest billionaires. Successful modeling has also helped the young billionaire secure work assignments in his native country. His presence in the front rows of Norwegian fashion shows is a common sight. Number 7 and 8. Andy Fang and Stanley Tang, self-made. Andy Fang, a Chinese-American, and Stanley Tang, a Hong Konger, are 28 years old and successful software entrepreneurs, with a net worth of $2 billion each. DoorDash was launched by these two back in 2013, and unlike many other businesses that suffered because of the pandemic, their company grew in value as people began to buy food online more frequently. DoorDash is the largest food delivery firm in the United States, with a 5% market share and approximately 4,000 employees. Fang was previously the company's chief technology officer, while Tang served as the company's chief product officer. Number 9. Sam Bankman Free – Self-Made at an extraordinary pace, Sam Bankman Freed amassed a vast cryptocurrency fortune by funding both trading firm Alameda Research and crypto derivatives trading platform FTX, overseeing $2.5 billion in assets. In July 2021, FTX raised $900 million from investors such as Coinbase, Ventures, and SoftBank at an $18 billion valuation, assisting Bankman Freed in becoming one of the wealthiest people under the age of 30 in history. For Bankman Freed, effective altruism means that he wants to generate as much money as possible to give away the most money imaginable. A pro-Biden super PAC received $5 million from him, putting him among the president's most significant donors. Last but not least, number 10, Jonathan Kwok, Legacy. According to Bloomberg, the Kwoks are Asia's second richest family and the wealthiest family in Hong Kong, with a combined net worth of $38 billion, making them the wealthiest family in the region. Jonathan and his older brother Joffrey, both 35 years old, inherited a piece of their deceased father, Walter Kwok's, investment in Hong Kong property firm Sun Hung Kai Properties. Due to a significant disagreement with his brothers Thomas and Raymond Kwok, Walter Kwok was forced to resign as chairman of Sun Hung Kai in 2008. After that, he founded the real estate development company Empire Group Holdings, which Jonathan and Joffrey now lead. Despite being in their 30s, these young billionaires are experiencing tremendous success. They come from different backgrounds and some are considered self-made, while others are carrying on the family's legacies. Whatever their path to the top, they seem to be capable of uplifting most people to think that they, too, can achieve similar success one day. How about you? What can you say about these billionaires? Tell us your thoughts in the comments section below. Alright guys, we're wrapping up today's video, and we hope you enjoyed today's topic. Thanks for visiting our channel. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and check out more on the Grand Luxury channel. Until next time!